hello 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 um <clears throat> i decided to make this video because uh, i see that a lot of people are having uh, the same issue that i had while installing the yeti um yeti microphone uh, first of all the first issue that i had was i downloaded the software i'm using a mac uh, a mac operating system so um i believe that the solution will probably apply to um apply to windows as well so i think this is hands down the solution follow it and let me know how uh, it worked out for you comment below um, share and subscribe so let me guide you through the issue i had two issues while installing the uh the the, the logitech g hub software uh, this may be applicable to any other logitech software uh, that you are trying to install i don't know why uh, this keep happening but um it is mainly probably due to your firewall i believe it's a hundred percent your firewall first of all if you download the software from their website uh, logitech.com uh, logitech g hub and uh, i believe they have other softwares as well for this uh, for connecting these other devices if you download the software and you try to run the software and you are getting the, the software keep crashing don't worry i'm going to show you how to resolve that um secondly uh after you install the software and you you open it and you are getting loading resources you know the stack you know you're, you're getting a stack screen with loading resources uh, do not worry i also show you how to uh solve that uh, so first of all let's start by uh, uh, let's start addressing when you download the software onto your computer and uh, you try to run it you right click open you double click open and the uh, software open but try to install and it crashes the solution is basically um is basically for you to um, turn off your uh, firewall, uh, turn off your firewall, uh, for example, of firewalls that may be blocking your, um, give me a second here, I think, okay, uh, yeah, examples of firewalls that may be blocking your, uh, your software from opening it, I believe how this, software is written it, ha it has to connect to their network uh, to download and install on your computer so if you have firewall set up and it's not able to connect then it crashes so if you have firewall like radio silent lulu uh murus uh, velum uh hands off uh netiquette there's a bunch of uh, TCP block there's a bunch of firewalls out there if you have a firewall set up on your sometimes maybe antivirus also turn it off completely turn it off if you do not want to turn it off if you don't want to turn off your firewall uh, what you can also do is you know whitelist whitelist the software that you downloaded the packet white list the package that you downloaded onto your computer and now run it uh, i believe believe me if you run it the software is going to run so the first solution is download the software uh, after you download the software either white list uh, the, the downloaded software package or you um either you white list it or you completely disable or turn off your the firewall i've given some example like hands off moru etc and run the software it's gonna run so after solving the first issue now you run the software and uh and it opens right you find that if you go into your application for file a folder or if you are running windows go to the programs folder uh, and open the software if it doesn't automatically um, put a shortcut on the desktop and once you open the software uh, you also realize that when you connect your device it just it gets stuck for example I'm using a Yeti, a Yeti X 
so you can see that it's stuck and it's telling me loading resources okay uh i spent a lot of time trying to figure out what the issue would be and i read a lot of online to see if i can find solutions online uh, but there is numerous ways people suggested to resolve this issue but let me show you another way easy way and i believe 100 percent that this is going to solve it for you what you need to do next is um so now you've you've installed a you've installed the software you have uh, you've installed the software you are able to to open the software okay before you even open the software i would recommend that it doesn't really matter you can still open it or you can do this before you open it um what i recommend is that now you go into your uh, like i said program folder or windows or application folder and you locate uh, logitech hub uh, program now you also whitelist this program let it connect to incoming and outgoing uh, connect connect connection um if you don't do that you, it will not be able to you know install the the driver for the device that you are trying to connect to your computer so secondly uh, you either whitelist the program uh, basically you want to run your firewall so whitelist the program installed in your application folder or uh, your pro if it's a mac or windows go to your program folder um, then you can run this application but it's funny enough that th there is a partial part of the second issue even after you whitelist the program from your application folder or windows um, prog uh, program folder and you still connecting your device it still give you loading resources so this is the tricky part so these softwares are uh, created in such a way that they have background you know codes or lines or background uh, uh, other parts that run uh, in your computer background that you, you don't really see so what you can do is you go into your firewall go into your firewall and search i think it's lg hub you know or just type logitech you know search all the logitech background um background activities i mean software that are running behind the scene that you do not see type it into your firewall and let them pop up individually allow access to this uh, line of codes that are running in the background um, after you allow access so they can be able to connect to the um, to the internet the reason being that uh, you are getting the yeti i mean or your device loading resources is stuck is because the driver for the device is not installed so once you you whitelist or allow all the background uh, software is running for the logitech program uh, i can guarantee you that your device will not pop up update driver or install driver go ahead and install driver uh, an additional step for the mac user is uh, after you install the driver with this latest operating system there's a lot of security security uh, uh, high security uh, to prevent you know apps from changing or making changes to your system so what you're going to do is you're going to go to give me a second let me see okay you're going to go to privacy and a privacy is going to ask you to allow the driver to run in your system right it's going to ask you to allow the driver to run in your system so you're going to allow it once you allow it uh, the uh, logitech g hub will detect your device and you can go ahead and customize it and this is a simple solution i spent some time figuring it out so uh, let me know what you think if it did help you and i believe that's the solution the software is good i, I strongly believe that uh, but i can agree that there could be other issues affecting your system uh, not enabling you to uh, install your device but uh, for hands down 100 percent, i believe uh, this is the uh, the issue uh, so let me know in the comment uh, like share and comment.